We love it out here on the property. We really, really do. There are a few things that take your breath away like a foot of fresh fallen snow. But to be totally honest, we are ready for some farmer's tans. So we packed our things up and we're heading south to Arizona. Okay, so, dude, big, big email right here from uh, Tanner. It's titled, Loan Approval. Good afternoon, Lamar and Ashley. I hope you're both doing great today. I wanted to let you know that we officially received a conditional loan approval on your construction loan today. The conditions on the loan are pretty straightforward, which is great news. Below are the items we need to collect to get a final approval. A completed appraisal, this has already been ordered, should be back in a couple of days. Okay. Contract between you and the builder, resume of builder, and builder's risk insurance. These are the main items, which is great news. Once we collect these documents, we can get a closing schedule. I think that means that we're good to go. I think we're gonna get to build our dream cabin in the beautiful Chafee County, Colorado with a string of 14ers in our backyard <laughs> and beautiful windows, vaulted ceiling. Living in Havana has paid off, man. We have been moderately frugal. We're both kind of frugal. Saved a lot of money. We put a lot of money toward this. Uh, yeah, I've been working toward, toward it for four years now. The idea was for, we got the idea four years ago. <sighs> what a feeling, How man. Feel in your chest? Is it oh, it feels light. It feels full, but it feels light. Good I feel peaceful. Okay. Yes, I feel at peace. Ooh, all right. And excited. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Pleasant morning. The great part about doing morning walks whenever you're mobile is every day is different. I was really liking all the snow and stuff. Honestly, <laughs> the snow kept me from doing morning walks a few times. Quite a few times. <laughs> But today I woke up and there's all these huge, you know, saguaro cactuses out and I was like, man, this is, this is perfect. It's actually, it's still pretty chilly. I don't know, it feels like 40 degrees or something. For Arizona, I'm used to it being like, you know, 70s. I'm like, I still need a coat. So I've been doing this little practice, which I think is kind of fun. So I will go back to like, 16 year old Ashley. It's like I time travel. So then I go forward. I go I time travel forward and show my younger self my life now. And I get I don't know, I get it puts me in this headspace that's just really grateful. And it works the other way around too. So I'll go to future Ashley like 20 years, 30 years from now, Ashley, and I'll time travel back to being here in the van with my kids. And it just puts me in this headspace that makes me so appreciative for everything I have 
today and it helps me to really live presently rather than worrying about the future or thinking about the past. It helps me to just really appreciate what I have right now and, um, and live, it, live the day to the fullest. We are going on a grocery run. Exciting. <laughs> so exciting. We're staying on some state trust land outside of Phoenix. And so we're gonna go get our supplies already. We're staying with some friends we actually met last year in Joshua Tree. If you look back on our videos, um, we have our initial meeting with them and we've become really great friends over this past year. We quarantined together over the summer and now we're here in Arizona trying to catch uh, a little bit warmer weather and enjoying some good friend time. It's a great way to start the year, what do you say? What do you think? I think so. I think it's a fantastic way to start the year. So we're just outside uh, north of Phoenix a little bit. So we're popping in to grab some groceries and some water. funnest way to ride in a van or ride on a van. Woo! Made it! Teamwork makes the dream work, that's for sure. First, there's Luca. He's a five. Well, really five and a half. And he likes cheetahs. And sometimes he's funny. Next, there's Theo. He's crazy. He is a seven and a half. But he is almost eight in three weeks. Then, there's Izzy. She is smart, but she doesn't like it when the bulls pull her hair. So sometimes she tries to hide from them. Last but not least is it's Ari. She's a little sh shy. They're my school best friends and we really like to play. I think we'll stick around here for a little while. Bye. <laughs>
desert is calm and meditative. And there's nothing like spending some time with good friends. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe below and drop us a line in the comments.